Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're ready for something a little eerie, because today we're bringing you something a little otherworldly. For sure, at one point or another, you've seen two celebrities and you've gone, oh, these guys look alike. But today, we're not just giving you a footballer and their celebrity lookalike. Oh no, we're giving you footballers and their footballer lookalikes. Yes, there are more than 10 pairs of famous footballers who are each other's doppelgangers. And we believe that by the time you get to the end of this video, your jaw would have dropped to the floor. By the way, of course, we made sure that none of these players are related to each other in any way that we know of. Let's dive straight into it. Number 1. Nacho Monreal and Peter Crouch The former Arsenal defender and former Liverpool striker could very much pass for brothers. Almost everything about their faces is similar. They have pretty much the same shape of face, their hairs grow in just about the same pattern and they even both have blue eyes. If we did a Photoshop edit and put Monreal's face on Crouch's body, I'm sure you wouldn't notice at all. Well, we already did that at the beginning, and be honest, you didn't notice, did you? Perhaps the only place these two do not share any resemblances is in the height department. While Crouch is very famous for his 6 feet 7 frame, Monreal is almost a foot shorter at 5 feet 10 and a half inches. Number 2. Jan Sommer and Marvin Hitz now this one is a little uncanny. These guys, Sommer and Hitz, who obviously have a striking facial resemblance, happen to have a lot more in common. They were both born in Switzerland. They're both goalkeepers. They both started their youth careers in 1996, then both started playing senior team football in 2005. And then they were both loaned out from their respective parent clubs in 2007. To cap it all off, they both currently play in the German Bundesliga. Hey, these two shot stoppers may be a special kind of twins that science is yet to discover. Because this goes beyond just doppelgangers, don't you think? Number 3. Kingsley Coman and David Alaba Now, these two don't have the type of insane connection that the two Swiss goalkeepers have, but the faces are enough to have you asking questions. But don't worry, keep your questions. Coman was born in France and has French origins, while Alaba was born in Austria and has Nigerian origins. But they look so alike that commentators and fans very often confuse them for each other when they're playing together at Bayern Munich. And it was a lot worse that period when they were both carrying very similar haircuts. But just in case you're looking for more similarities, well, um, they're both really fast and they're both 5 feet 11 inches tall. Number 4. Lionel Messi and Sasha Kiesten It's okay if you don't know Sasha Kiesten. He has played virtually all of his career in the MLS, but of course you know Lionel Messi. And if you look past the height difference, you'll see that these two actually look alike. Now, because of how very familiar you are with the seven-time Ballon d'Or winner's face, you may never confuse it for Sasha's, but there's surely a resemblance there. Number 5. Usman Dembele and Inaki Williams These two have gone head-to-head -head a couple of times in the past few seasons, and if you've watched a second of their games, you'll know that they're very pacey forwards. If you then take a minute to look at both their faces, you'll see that they both look alike. And there might be something here because they both have African origins. But do you know where they have absolutely no resemblance? In their levels of fitness. While one is known to struggle with injuries every now and then, the other just can't seem to get injured. And that has seen him feature in over 200 consecutive La Liga games. A record in the Spanish league. Now, let's throw it back a little for the old-timers on the channel. Number 6. Rude Hullet and Cafu These names won't sound alien to you if you didn't watch football in the 80s, 90s and early 2000s. Both these guys played for AC Milan at some point in their careers, and while Hullet started his professional career in 1979, Cafu began his career exactly 10 years later. Anyway, quick quiz, can you tell us in the comments which of these players won the World Cup and which one won a Ballon d'Or? Let's see how much you know about your football legends. Number 7. David Luiz and Matteo Guendouzi The Brazilian defender and French midfielder are pretty much the same person born in different generations. If you remember when they were both at Arsenal together, a lot of people very often confused one for the other. And can you really blame them? The hair they both carry didn't even help the confusion one bit. 
Oh, and they're both about the same height with similar skin colour and body structure, so you were bound to be confused each time these two were on the pitch for Arsenal together. Anyway, they've both now left Arsenal permanently, so at least you can stop wondering how come David Luiz is still on the pitch when Arteta just took him off. Number 8. Kenny McAvoy and Gareth Bale Kenny McAvoy had his chance at Spurs, just like Gareth Bale, but unfortunately he hasn't been able to achieve anything close to what the Welshman has done so far in his career. So now the only thing these two have in common is facial resemblance. But that? That is a big similarity, because boy do they look alike. The face structure is the exact same. If Bale wants to go play golf while Real Madrid has a game, he could easily call Kenny to help take his place on the bench. Coach won't be bringing him on anyway, so why not? Number 9. Roy Mackay and Luis Suarez These two prolific goalscorers look alike, don't they? By the way, in case you didn't know who Roy Mackay is, he is the scorer of the fastest goal in the history of the UEFA Champions League. Ah, pretty uncanny that these two guys who look alike have similar styles of play, are deadly in front of goal, and enjoy good spells in the Netherlands, isn't it? Number 10. Beckin Bala and Mark andre Ter Stegen We could tell that you guys were thirsting for another really eerie one since Sommer and Hits, so here you go. This is not as eerie, but it's quite interesting. Beckin Bala and Ter Stegen apparently don't only look alike, they are both exactly the same height. They both started playing senior team football in 2009. They both moved to new European clubs in the same window in 2014. And, well, uh, they have both not scored any goal for their last two clubs. Yes, Bala is supposed to be a striker, so that doesn't look too good for him. But let's just focus on the fact that this Albanian forward and German goalkeeper look very much alike. Number 11. Dida and Mbappe These two guys have more than a World Cup gold medal in common. They actually look like brothers. Uh, no, more like mm, father and son. Dida is more than twice Mbappe's age, so no way they could actually look like brothers. Anyway, will Mbappe go on to add a UEFA Champions League winner's medal to his World Cup medal, just like his lookalike did? Well, we'll just have to wait and find out. By the way, tie a ribbon around both these guys' eyes and you know what you get, right? Don't make us say it. Number 12. Luka Modric and Johan Cruyff We'll be rounding off with two absolute legends of the game. Cruyff, when he was much younger, looked a lot like Modric now. The hair, the nose, the lost look. These two guys who each have a connection to opposite sides of the El Clasico rivalry could pass for father and child. And the fact that they're both skillful midfield maestros doesn't help our suspicion that they must somehow be related. Just somehow. And it gets pretty uncanny with these two because their achievements look pretty alike too. They're both Ballon d'Or winners. They both did the three-peat in the Champions League, or European Cup as it was called in Cruyff's days. They both got to the final of the World Cup but never won it. And then each of them was awarded the World Cup Golden Ball Award in the tournament when they came second. Truth is, if you believe in superstitions or the supernatural, it's easy to believe that some of these pairings in this list are more than just doppelgangers, and we won't blame you at all. In fact, you know what? If you have any conspiracy theories about lookalikes, let us know in the comments. This is a safe space. For more content like this, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification. See you in the next one. Bye for now.